Welcome back everybody. So here in the garage today, we've had multiple projects going on. Uh, ben is working on wheel weights. He's trying to figure out some weight distribution on his mower. Uh, they're slipping a little bit, so he's gonna add some weights to the tires, the drive tires, and I'll let him talk a little bit more about what he's doing. So here it is. So the problem I'm having is going uphill sometimes is uh, I'm slipping. Of course, I put these Chevron wheels on there, these cleated tires try and do a little bit better. And it does better than it used to, but so I done some reading. I have the book that actually came with this. And uh, the manufacturer recommendation is have a 50 pound wheel weight on each wheel to help give you front end weight when you're doing a lot of going up inclines. So I price some wheel weights. They are not cheap, 50 pounds, that's a lot of weight. Usually wheel weights or any kind of weight cost about a dollar a pound. But you're talking about a hundred bucks worth. Um, what we do have is, is right here, sitting outside the garage, is some old rotors from doing brake jobs on our vehicles. So I weighed them, and these are the rotors right here off of the back of my truck. They weigh 23 pounds a piece. And then these right here are the rotors, I think, off Dad's Tahoe. I'm not sure they're a six lug um, and they've got an emergency brake, so they're definitely a rear brake, but they're 18.5 pounds each. So this will put me at uh, about 42 pounds. And then time I work all my bracket work and everything together, I'll probably end up with 45 pounds of weight on each wheel. To me, I figure that's gonna be close enough. That should make a difference on inclines. So what I'm doing here is, is I've created these pieces of metal here to act as a a brace to go across the wheel and inside the wheel I've got some squares um, I've got carriage bolts that will fit in there and that way I only have to put the nut on from one side and, and the, the square on the bolt will actually hold itself still inside the rim Let's see that carriage I bolt probably can't that. I've got black tape around that one that's okay I'm just looking at the square part so they understand that I'll that see if square... it'll there. Oh, let well, me well. let me get one of the other ones hold that wheel for a second so I got one of the other ones here. So the carriage bolt will go through here, and then the square will sit in there, and it can't really turn in there. Yep. So when you start tightening down the nut on this end, the carriage bolt's held still by the square that it's locked into. So, and that's that X is gonna sit on the rim, and then I'm going to drill two holes and weld two bolts through and well put into one of those rotors as lugs and I'm gonna weld the two rotors together. So, and then I'll paint them with uh, John Deere yellow so it'll match the rims. What I'm doing here right now is, and why I've got the tape around this one bolt, is I made these holes um, for a pretty tight fit for that bolt. There's not a whole lot of slop in it. And I wanna get these... Uh, spacers? Yeah, they're spacers I made. I wanna get them pretty tight on that hole without getting too much of an angle and that that bolt's real sloppy in there. I'm gonna use one of these ones I don't have tape on. It's, you know, there's a whole lot of slop it can get. But I put tape on this one to kind of center as a bushing. And that way I can hold it centered and I can go ahead and weld it on here and do the same with this one. And I bent these up a little bit. I need to bend them back down level. I may let the, the kind of tighten down of the bolts down do that on its own. Um, but this is where I'm at. I'm about ready to weld these on here and then I'll measure out and figure out where my two holes need to be on this X to uh, take these bolts and drill and put them through and I'll weld them to the back side of the plate so I have studs sticking off of the wheel so I can mount the rotors on. But that's what I'm working on right now. Yep, hopefully we can get you some more information on it here in a little bit when he gets one side done. Uh, by the way, if you're noticing this nice red metal here, that's that same stand we took apart to uh, make the basket for the fuel trailer. So, uh, waste not, want not, right? Multi-purpose. If you guys have any questions about what we're doing, just put it in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer. You the new camera person, are you? Yes, I am.
so it's a messy job, but I gotta clean these up. One, that way I can weld the edge of them, and two, that way the paint will stick to them. Because if we leave them all rusty like this, it'll make a nasty weld trying to weld the two rotors together, and the paint won't stay on there, it'll flake off looks like the rust weld. Last one. Some of that's fumes. You gotta be careful when you weld any kind of galvanized not to breathe much of it because it's poisonous and it will give you a headache. It will give you, uh, make you kind of sick sometimes. So I've caught a few whiffs of it, but I don't think I've done anything bad yet. Um, but I'm done welding them, so I'm gonna try to stay away from them until they cool down or go cool them down. So, show you guys some more here in a bit. So, last night uh, I got two coats on this one because I actually coated this one while I was building this one and I got one coat on this bracket so these are my two wheel brackets that are going to hold the weight um, we're going to do at least another coat on that one um, and then I've got these rotors I've welded them together already and I've welded them every little bit just to kind of stitch it together without having to weld the whole thing and so that's going to be primarily what the wheel weight looks like um, obviously we're going to paint it yellow we painted the inside just because It'd be more difficult to paint the inside after I welded them together like this. We've done that first. And so this will get a coat of paint just like that right there. And then over here on the welding bench, I've got this one staged up, getting ready to weld it. And what I've done is, is I've centered everything. You can see some marks I've made here, and I've still got to finish grind a few of these. But I've, I'm going to weld one, I count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And every fourth one I count, is the one I'm going to weld. That's what I've done on that one. Now I end up with one oddball at the other end that's got four spaces between welds instead of three. It'll be fine that way. So, but we'll get this one welded up and I'll get it back over there and we'll throw a coat of paint on everything and uh, let it dry for the night. The wheel weights might need another outside coat, but uh, most of that I think we might even be able to finish painting with them mounted up to the mower. So, Hey, paint has to dry, so it can't do everything in one day, so we'll get them mo bounded up tomorrow, and uh, we'll touch base again. Yeah, he says paint has to dry. It's uh, not dry yet. It's not dry yet. And dry but, enough to weld the outside. We better get that cleaned up before Dad sees it. It'll be all right. <laughs> So I'll show you this real quick. What we have here is uh, this is the bracket. I've got it bolted to the rim. I went ahead and took some uh, some paint 
I went ahead and coated my nuts that I lock washers that I bolted it to with the carriage bolts. So there's a little extra paint laying on here right now. I'm going to uh, go ahead and check air pressure in the tires before I put this on here. Uh, because once I do, these right here are hard to get to. Now, it's not a big deal because to get back to it, I just got to take two nuts off and remove the rotor. And I'll show you how you tighten them nuts here in a few moments. But uh, just got to take the rotor off to get to this. So I'll just check this and put the uh, new rotor weight on there. lock washers and some old nuts out of the bolt bin over there and push this up on there and that's all there so now I should be able to get that in there like so Okay, so if you notice, this side of it needs another coat of paint. I gave the inside of it another coat before I put it on there, and I'm going to mix a little thinner with some yellow paint, and I'm going to let it run down inside this brake rotor here to get to where you don't see the rust there as bad, and uh, give this side another coat along with the other one, and I'm going to wait and paint them after the other one's mounted as well. That way it kind of will all stay there and I don't have to handle it afterwards. But that right there is uh, my brake rotor wheel weight. As you can see with the style deck I have that doesn't stick out too far to really hurt me on any kind of clearances for anything I mow. And uh, with the bracket and the two rotors there, there's a good 45 pounds of weight hanging off that wheel. So... We'll uh, get some coats of paint and show you the finished product when the other one's mounted. Hey guys, we're uh, back at the farm here now. It's been about a week and a half since I finished the wheel weights on the mower. Kind of get you a look here at how things turned out. Got some grass uh, from the first mow, but everything's still really sturdy. Uh, the important part is, is they do exactly what I intended them to do. They they give me a little bit better traction on some of the hillsides and some of the uh, places I get where I need a little extra weight on the front wheels because these are the drive wheels right here and uh, they have done the intended job so I'm really pleased with it um, also at the garage before I left I got in a hurry and bent up this piece of conduit here with a bracket down there and a bracket on the roll bar I need to paint this steel and uh, you guys didn't didn't see that, but that has uh, worked out nice for mowing some of the inclines and hillsides around here. I mow about eight acres uh, a week with this mower, and uh, it's due for it again. The weather's not been so good, so hopefully we'll get to that tomorrow. Looks like it's going to be prettier. So, But there it is. Uh, pretty well completed until we decide to do something else with it. And uh, once again, we appreciate you guys uh, watching, following what we're doing. Uh, Shoot us a comment below, you know, tell us what you think of what we're doing so far. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, kind of helps us out with the direction we're wanting to go. And we'll uh, see you guys on the next project. Until then, go bend some wrenches.